Hello everyone and welcome to this mini lecture on the article analysis and these are the guidelines and kind of clarifying what it is you need to do for this assignment. So the article analysis is 20% of your final grade and it is a 1200 word essay. And there's two parts to this. The first is the article selection where you will find an article and you will post that to the discussion board in Angel. The second is the article analysis paper and you will post this is the actual paper itself and you'll draw you'll post that to a Dropbox. So what this assignment is about is helping students to better understand uh, the academic nature of the course and this is done by having you as a student go and in, in research using the school's databases to find out what kind of journals and academic journals I should say are out there that relate to the study of this course and I really do like this assignment because it, ha it lets students really go out and see the wide range of research that's out there on any given topic. Um, it's actually a really fascinating thing to do to see just how much information is out there about any discipline, be it the one for this course or any of the other courses that you may be taking. So there are three major parts to this assignment. The first is you need to find an academic article. The second is you need to thoroughly read that academic article. And the final one is you need to write a thoughtful paper discussing that academic article and how it relates to the course. So let's take a stab at what is an academic article. It's written by a knowledgeable person within the field of study. So this is usually somebody with an advanced degree and has properly studied the the particular topic for you know sometimes it's years sometimes it's decades published in a journal and by journal we mean a publication whose focus is on knowledge building not entertaining so we're looking at something like the journal of american literature or the journal of television and communication uh, wall street journal is not a a journal in this in, in this context. Uh, that's a news publication that's more for entertainment and daily consumption. It's written by journalists, not necessarily scholars. So you want to kind of be aware there is this distinction between academic journals and other publications. You don't want to go to the National Geographic to find your article for this course. And typically when we look at academic articles, we're dealing with articles that are subject to the peer review process. And all that means is when a scholar writes a essay, or writes an article, he or she then sends that to the editor, and the editor takes that article and shares it with several different people also in that field to provide a review. Does this article meet the standards and expectations with, with whatever the discipline are? And those peers provide a response. They, you know, they review it, they give critical feedback, they say whether they think it is acceptable or not to be published uh, in that particular publication. So where do you find such, uh, such journals? Uh, the best place, and the place I will tell you to go time and again, is our school library. The North Shore Community College Library has a lot, and I do mean a lot, of databases and access to probably tens of thousands of academic journals. You can go and try Google Scholar, but the problem with Google Scholar is it's hit or miss. You may find an article, you may not. You are in all likelihood going to have to pay for articles. Everything in the school library is free because you are a student in this course. So some of the databases that I recommend, uh, the Academic Search Premier, Expanded Academic ASAP, and JSTOR. JSTOR in particular I'm a big fan of because that's the database that helped me get through uh, grad school. However, if you are not going to the physical campus at all, you do, in order to access these databases, you do actually need to contact the library and uh, activate your ID so that you can get use of these great resources. So make sure you check that out and, and contact the library to get that figured out. All right, so selecting an article. This is a step that if students don't follow well or if they ha you know if they, if they don't give it enough attention it comes back to hurt them when they're writing the paper 
When they're selecting their article, they need to find an article that has, is at least 12 pages of text. Now keep in mind that's 12 pages of text. That doesn't include a bibliography, that doesn't include images. The article, that is the writing, needs to be at least 12 pages long. It should be published in academic journals, which we've already established. It, sh it must be published after 1970. And my reason for this is I want you to see more recent scholarship. Uh, some of the scholarship that's from you know, the 1950s and 1940s, it's out of date, it's sometimes not as relevant, sometimes it doesn't quite work for what we're doing in this course. And it must be an actual article and not a book review. And this is something to be important. Something important to realize that there are, in fact, you know, twelve-page book reviews essentially out there uh, on uh, in some of these journals, or you know, a, a review essay that takes several books and reviews them. So you really want to look at an academic article, something that's trying to argue and prove something or interpret something in a new way and the article needs to be connected to the course. Now this is popular culture and the idea is that you find some niche within popular culture that you want to explore and use this you know find an article that explores that so maybe you're really into um, car racing and so you can look around for articles that talk about the you know the culture of, of car racing or maybe you're really into a particular genre you're into country music you're into um, alternative music finding articles that relate to that you're into certain types of fashion finding articles that relate to that alright so some of my recommendations um, to kind of help you in this search process. The first is, again, make use of the school's library databases um, and use the advanced search feature on them. This way you can limit your results to only those things that are that are relevant. So on a lot of the search advanced search features in these databases, you can play around with the, the page count. So you can set your minimum page count to 14 pages so that you know, you know, that will make sure you meet the page requirement. You can set those results to only return articles that are published after 19 uh, 70 or only articles that are peer reviewed. So really ma make use of those because those can save you a lot of time. Use keyword searches that link topics with concepts. So this is one of those, you know, if you type in alternative music to one of these databases, you're going to find thousands upon thousands of articles. It might be a little overwhelming. So what you might want to do is actually connect topics with concepts. So you might say, okay, I'm interested in alternative music, uh, but I'm interested in that as it relates to feminism, or I'm interested in that as it relates to, uh, you know, identity or you know some of the concepts and terms that that we'll be using in this course. So be try to link those things to see what you can get in return. And when you find an article that you think might be what you want to look at, please read the first three to four pages before saying I'm you know this is a definite contender. Uh, students often don't do this. They find an article, it fits the basic criteria, but they never actually read it until two or three days before the assignment is due and then they find out, oh my god, I can't read this article. It is so incomprehensibly and just strange. Um, it's beyond beyond me. It, and I'll tell you that happens to me too. I, th there's lots of these articles that even I have trouble reading. Um, so you really want to read it, get a sense of it before saying this is what I want to go to. And I would also recommend you don't pick the first article. I would say get two or three to make sure you know you can compare and contrast. You might find one that is more engaging. You might find one that's more relevant. So don't just find one and say, okay, I've got it, but pick from, you know, find two or three that are used, that you like, and then choose from them. And then finally, save the article. Most of these databases will give you the article in a PDF file format. Save it. Save it to your thumb drive. Save it to your hard drive. Email it to yourself. Make sure you have it quickly accessible because what happens is you find it in the database and then you go back, you know, two weeks later when you're going to write the assignment and actually read it and it's not there or you can't find it. Uh, some of the articles may not be there in another week or two weeks depending on what their contracts are with, depending on what the publisher's contracts are with the databases. 
So once you've got an article, what do you do with it? Um, you take this information, the, author, the article title, the authors, the journal name, year of publication, you take all of this information listed here, um, or you just take the MLA citation and you put it on the article selection discussion board. And something to remember is that it's first come, first serve. You, only one person is allowed to cover one article. And I do this for a variety of reasons. One is just so students can see the wide range of articles. But the other is that, you know, I've run into with this assignment students have in the past before cheated. So, you know, this allows for that to not happen. But first come, first serve. So, you know, if you get in there and you post what article you're doing, you get first shot at it. And this is it. This is an incentive for going and getting your article as soon as possible so that you can get, you know, the you can get the article that you want. So once you're done with all that, now you need to thoroughly read the academic article. And I should just say backing up, you know, your article is not fully accepted until you've posted it to the discussion board. And I have responded and said, okay, this is a great article, you know, go with it. Once you get that go ahead, then you're going to thoroughly read the academic article. And this, I would say, requires reading it more than once. These can be very in-depth analyses and you need to read it through a few times just to get the full breadth of what the author is trying to do. Write notes while reading it, highlight it, really make sure you mark up the text or you, you do what you need to do to to have a conversation with that reading so that when it comes time, comes time for writing you've already started that process of writing. Make sure you know, I would say identify the author's thesis and purpose. I, I mean, I would highlight it, I would box it off, I would just make sure, you know, star it, make sure you have that and be thinking about it throughout, throughout your reading of the article. Always asking yourself, how does this help prove what this author has set out to do? And then, you know, explore how the author uses that, um, the particular writing that's from class. Um, this is more thinking about, you know, how does the author apply any of the things that we've seen from class, any of the essays we've explored, any of the material we've explored, how does this author use that? Does the author use that? Or are there similarities? You know, look in the footnotes and see are there any resources that, um, that overlap. And finally, as, as I was just saying, read the footnotes and endnotes as you, as you move through the article. They may not all be useful, but there will be some that will be, incitive, uh, should be insightful and give you some good, some ideas that you might not have thought of. So next we move into writing the article analysis. And there's six things that really need to be covered in order to meet the expectations of this assignment. The first is an explanation of the article's main points. So what's the point of the article and how does the author prove it? Uh, the student's opinion about the piece as a whole along with the justification for an opinion. So here you want to say what you think of the what you think of the argument. Now sometimes students provide in this in providing their opinion want to lament about oh my god it was so boring in my brain it just oozed out of my ears that's not the opinion to address here the opinion is to be thinking critically about the argument being offered so if you go on a paragraph about how it was boring and it was slow that isn't going to help your paper and in fact may hurt your paper. What I want to see is how you think about the argument being made. How you think about you know what this person did to prove his or her points. Um, a comparison of class material as it relates to the article chosen. This is an important one and this is one where students you know, when students lose points, uh, this is one of the big ones. You need to connect what's going on with the article with what's going on in the course. Now, you hear that, and what students sometimes think about is, well, my, you know, my, my article is about, dr you know, drag racing in the 1930s, and we don't cover that in our in our course whatsoever. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm think I, I want you to think about how the con how the arguments, how the interpretations, how the the representations of different people or different material or even how you know the author approaches the subject matter 
can be connected to all the other things that we look at in this course. So it doesn't have to be, you know, comparing apples to apples. You want to think about, you know, how does the author looking at these apples compare to when, you know, Cullen looks at oranges or whatever. So just be thinking about that. Really, this is this is the hard piece of this assignment as a whole because it's asking you to think larger than just what's going on in the article and really connect it with the course material. We also, I also want you to provide a, a brief assessment of the author's notes and bibliography. That is, what, does, what research does the author use in making his or her argument? And I want you to think about it. Is the author using valuable research? And what else might, you know, could the author have used? Or is the author using enough? An exploration into the author's background, and by this I mean academic background. I don't, you know, telling me what they did in second grade isn't necessarily going to be um, that relevant. But what I do want you to do here is to do a little bit of research on the author. And notice I said research, which means you're going to have to cite this. You're going to need to include a work cited. But find out who this author is. Find out where they're from and what justifies them writing this paper. If they are a scholar, what is their scholarly background that says they're qualified to write this? And then finally, a discussion of how the article fits into the particular publication's theme and overall content. Now, publication in this sense means the journal. So you need to explain how this fits into that journal and why it seems like a relevant topic. So again, you're going to have to look at the journal and figure out you know, what it pur what's its purpose and how the article relates. So something to keep in mind here is that parts 1 through 3, right, what we looked at on the previous page, that should take up 80% of your paper. Parts 4 through, through 6 should only take up about 20% of your paper. All right, parts 1 through 3 are the meat of your paper. Parts 4 through 6 you should be addressing, but you shouldn't be spending long-winded paragraphs on this on these things. You know, a few sentences about the author, a few sentences about the footnotes, a few sentences about the journal. All right, that is the discussion uh, that is the article analysis analysis guidelines. Uh, please let me know if you have questions and thank you for watching.